solve eight plus one. All right, so for number one, all it says is solve. It doesn't tell you a specific strategy to use. It just wants you to solve it. So it's three and one-fourth plus one-fourth. So let's just forget about the three for a second and just focus on those fourths. What's a fourth plus a fourth? Kaylee? A half or what? Two fourths, yeah. And then we have to put what in front of it? Three. Three. So three and two fourths. Easy peasy? Yeah. So the denominators are the same, so we just have to add the numerators up, and that gives us our answer. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Um, Kaylee put, made a good point, though. She said three and a half. If it asks us to simplify, the simplest way to say two-fourths would be <coughs> one-half. But it doesn't ask us to simplify, and you only simplify if they want you to. So in this case, do they want us to simplify? No. no. They would have asked us to if they wanted us to. Okay? All right, so seven and three-fourths plus one-fourth. Forget about your seven for a second and just focus on the three-fourths and the one-fourth. Three-fourths plus one-fourth is what? Brendan? A whole. So we have to add one whole to seven. So I'm just going to write one plus seven equals what? Eight. Eight. You also could have said seven and four-fourths. Either of those would be okay. All right. C, three-eighths plus five and two-eighths. Um, Noah, what do you think we need to do? Uh, yep, and what's that? Okay. That's simple, right? I hear lots of side conversations going on, and I don't know if it's because you're confused or because you get it and you need to move faster. So give me thumbs on your heart and tell me how you're feeling about what we're doing right now. On your heart, please. Okay, great. I see lots of thumbs up. All right. One eighth plus seven eighths is? Eight eighths. Eight eighths. So this would equal six and eight eighths, right? Or what else would be a correct way to say that? Seven. Four or seven. Yep. All right. Complete the number sentences. Four and seven eighths plus something equals five. What do we need to add in there to, make, to get to five? Tressa, thanks for raising your hand. One eighth. Two. All right, seven and two fifths plus something equals eight. Zachary? It's three fifths. Three fifths. Yep, because we're so close to, um, we have seven and we need to get to the next whole number. So we have to figure out how many more we need. All right, three equals two and one six plus something. What is it, Josiah? Five six. Good job, five six. D twelve equals eleven and one twelfth plus what? I'm gonna wait for some new hands to go up. If I, I saw so many thumbs up. I bet everyone has an answer here. Austin H. Um, we have the 1 12th, and we need to get to 12 twelfths, so we can have a whole. So how many do we need? What's 12 take away 1? 11, yep, so we need 11 twelfths. No? Do you guys disagree? Yeah, I agree. Do you agree? Okay. I agree. Okay. All right, number three, use a number bond in the arrow way to show how to make one solve. So let's look at their example because we haven't talked about this yet. So she did, um, the problem that they had was two and three-fourths plus two-fourths. So what they did was they did, um, they broke their two-fourths down into one-fourth and one-fourth. So what they did, the easier to solve this would be two and three-fourths plus one of those fourths, right? And what would that equal? Three. Three. And then we still have to add what to it? One fourth. One fourth. And three plus one fourth is? Three and one fourth. 
So basically, all you're doing is you're breaking apart those fractions so you have easy things to add. We love getting to whole numbers, right? And that's a great way to do it. So let's scooch down and look at the next one. 3 and 3 fifths plus 3 fifths. Well, how many fifths do we need to get to a whole number? Two. two. So we can break this up into two fifths and what? One fifth. Because two plus two fifths plus one fifth equals three fifths. Three fifths, yeah. Equals this. All right, so three and three fifths plus what? What do you want to add to it first to get to a pretty whole number? Abby? Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. Two fifths, yep. And that would give me what? Jacob? Four. Four. And I still have to add what to it? A fifth? And that would give me what? Tanner? Four and one fifth. Four and one fifth. <coughs> Bye, have a good day. All right, any questions on anything we've done on this front part of this page before we move on? That was really quick, but sounds like we're doing pretty good. Good? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's easier than estimating because you just can add them all up. All right, for number four, it says solve. You, when it just tells you to solve, you may use any way that you want to do it. So, for example, if you really liked breaking these up into different numbers, you could do that. That's an easy way to make sure that we can get to those pretty whole numbers. If you just like um, doing the way, we did, the way we did before, that would be fine too. Okay? All right, so four and two-thirds plus two-thirds. What do you think we should do? Okay, so then, sorry, sorry, one more time. You said two thirds plus two thirds to get four thirds, and then what? Okay, so, um, Pretty much you just took this whole number, right? You got us four and you added four thirds to it. Yeah. And that gave you five and one third. Yes? Do you guys agree with that? Yeah. Could you come up with the same answer a different way? Yeah. Yep, totally fine. All right, let's go ahead and scooch to B. Three and three fifths plus four fifths. Well, how many fifths, this would be a good one to break up into a number bond here. Because how many fifths do we need to get to a whole number? Two. Two. So I can break my four fifths up into two fifths and two fifths. So three and three fifths plus two fifths is, is what? Four. Four. And I still have to add what to it? Two fifths. And that's going to give me an answer of? Four Great. All right. Let's switch all the way down to the bottom of the page here and look at this problem. Number five. To solve seven and nine tenths plus five tenths, Maria thought seven and nine tenths plus one tenth equals eight. And 8 plus 4 tenths equals 8 and 4 tenths. Paul thought 7 and 9 tenths plus 5 tenths equals 7 and 14 tenths. Um, 7 plus 10 tenths plus 4 tenths equals 8 and 4 tenths. Explain why Maria and Paul are both right. Let's talk about Maria first. Okay? So Maria said that 7 and 9 tenths plus 1 tenth equals 8, and 8 plus 4 tenths equals 8 and 4 tenths. Is she right? Yeah. Okay, why is she right? What did she do? Tyler, what did she do? Um, she broke down the 5 tenths into like 1 tenth and 4 tenths, so she did 7 
eight, and then eight plus the four tenths would equal eight four tenths. Yeah, I agree. So Maria broke down that five tenths, right? She made a num she probably would have made a number by it if you could see her work. So Maria broke down the five tenths and then added. Is that an easy way to say that? Yeah. All right, now let's look at what Paul did. Paul did 7 and 9 tenths plus 5 tenths equals 7 and 14 tenths. 7 plus 10 tenths plus 14 tenths equals 8 tenths. He got the same answer, so he's right. But what did he do? Abby? <sighs> well, I think we need to. I think we'll do a problem like that in a second, so you guys can see the, what he was thinking. So I think some of you, it will make, it might make more sense to do it that way. Can anyone see what he did? Let's look at it. So he took this, which is what we were given, and then he got 7 and 14 tenths. How did he get that? Maya? <coughs> So Paul added the numerators. Do you agree? Yeah. yeah. And then he simplified it, maybe, is a good way to say it? Yeah. Because he had 14 tenths. So he simplified it to 10 tenths and 4 tenths to get 8 and 4 tenths. So Paul added the numerators and simplified it. Okay. Let's scooch to letter F right here, and let's try it Paul's way. Okay? What is 7 plus 11? 18. So we are going to say that we have 9, right? We're going to bring our whole number over, and 7 plus 11 is? 18. So we have 9 and 18 twelfths. Well, how can I break eight, um, 18 twelfths up? Brendan? Well, since um, 12 plus 6 is 18, you can break it up. 12, 12, 6. Alright, what do you guys think of that? 18 12 equals 12 12 plus 6 12. Yeah. Okay, so now what? <laughs> Jacob? So we can, can we say that that equals 1 and 6 twelfths? Yeah. Sure. And what do we have to do? We still have one big number that we haven't talked about here. Then you add 1 and 6 twelfths plus 9. Plus 9, and we get 10 and 6 twelfths. Or if it asks us to simplify, we could say 10 and a half. But it doesn't ask us to simplify, so the correct answer would be 6 twelfths. So basically, guys, for these ones, if you want to add the numerators up, you can totally do it this way. Maybe you looked at 9 and 18 twelfths, and you knew right away that this is that, that was equal to 10 and 6 twelfths. That's fine. If you don't like doing it that way, you can do it these other ways. There's lots of ways to get to the right answers. All right, here is your job. You need to finish all the boxes in number 4 and do less than 30 homework. You have about 18 minutes, plenty of time to get it done. Okay? Um, yeah, work hard on it, and then you won't have any homework. Yes, Kaylee? What about lesson 29? Don't worry about that. Just worry about lesson 30, problem set, and lesson 30 homework. 